I've been wanting to do this for a little bit. I've been using the DJ Osmos Pocket 3 for about six months now. I wanted to update my favorite accessories and the ones that I'm actually using with this. So hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. And as I just said, I wanna go over which accessories I'm actually still using. So the first one is gonna be this one right here. It's just a little silicone base and what it does, it holds it upright. Now I use this when I'm uploading my footage on my desk and then also as a tripod, very low. And I can go ahead and take that base off. If you don't wanna use the tripod that came with it and the creator combo, very short package. So this just allows you to do some work when you're trying to set up and hold to the gimbal if you want to record yourself. The next thing is going to be this right here and it's going to be a good set of filters. I'm currently using these, which is our KNF Concepts. And the reason that I've switched to these over the Polar Pro is when I turn this off, you're going to see that it can actually close all the way up and keep that filter on there so that when you're not using it, you can have it in the original position and still get it back into the case. I've actually had a few questions on how I've done some of my driving shots. So that's what I'm going to show here. This is the small rig for inch suction cup with a uh, magic arm. Now you can get these in a few different sizes, but I found this one to be the size that I like. To use this, you simply make sure that you have a clean spot and you want it to be relatively flat. So I'm gonna stick this right here and you're just gonna pump it down, get a good suction. As you can see, that's on there. Now to get my camera ready, I already have the filter on there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add this. This is the Tilta accessory mounting expander. And all you do is it screws right into the bottom of the quarter 20 screw. So it will work also with battery grip. So I'm just going to take that and screw this in here so that it's nice and tight. Now, the reason that I use this is when I'm out shooting with this or even some other items like the magic arm, which I'll show later, I can go ahead and screw it right into the base, but also if I wanted to screw it into the side, I can do that. So for example, maybe I want to shoot vertically to get the 4K vertically. I can do that. So when I do car shots like the one I'll cut in here, I do is I'll go ahead and screw this right into the side make sure that's nice and tight and then align everything up so I'll go ahead and tighten that down this would be like angle here onto the driver when you're driving you can get that reflection shot right there the next piece of item is gonna be this little plastic case here now the reason I like this over the original hard case is when I have it in this tilt to mounting expander I'm able to still use the hard case so let me go ahead and turn this off. And as you can see, you can keep the filter on there with these KNF concepts, but it just clicks over that. Now that's opposed to using the case, the original case where you can't do that. So let me just go ahead and leave that on here. Now this kind of leads me into my next accessory that I like to use, and it's to get my PLV, which you've probably seen when I go to car events, I like to use this. Now for this, I use this little clip here. So this is the Peak Design Capture Clip. I use this with my bigger camera, like my R6 I'm shooting on right now. Definitely support the weight. Now, the way that I do this is I have Peak Design's little base plate, and then I have this little piece here that is a quarter 20 on both sides. I'm able to go ahead, take this off here, and then I'm simply gonna add another magic arm, which these come in various sizes, like the one that's on here, or if you're looking for something a little longer, they do come in that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this because it has the cover. You can stick it in a pocket, whatever you need to do with it. And I'm going to screw this on right here. Now, I will say that sometimes I will have to use like a uh, little pliers to make sure that this is nice and tight on here. Open that up, turn it a little, lock it down. So again, this tilted cage is what really defines this. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this into the side here. 
and I usually have the chest strap done. So let me run that across. Now, the way that this works is I can just go ahead and slide this in here. I can adjust this to where I want it. And then all you have to do is take that off and just adjust it to kind of counterbalance the weight of it. And you have those POV shots of going forward, walking around. Again, I like to use this when I'm out, like say car events, taking photos, you can kind of get some of that behind the scenes with that. Last two items are gonna be kind of just camera items. Make sure you have a good quality case for all your memory cards. And then I like using this. This is the Mantis Pod Pro. And it's just a tripod. You can also use it as like a hand extension. I've had this for over a year now, and I use this for this camera for my R6. It's just a nice little taller tripod that's a little bit more stable. So there you go. These are my accessories that I'm still using in 2024 and that I would recommend picking up if you're looking into different accessories. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.